which is it's Holland. What's good and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I will be doing my third installment of my Blackpink astrology birth chart readings with this week's member being Lisa. Since I don't know her birth time, I will be going through her chart placement by placement with her sun sign, then moon sign, and so on. But before we get into it, I recently uploaded an astrology reading for Blackpink's Rose A, a video reviewing some of my older unpopular that I don't agree with, as well as providing some new ones, and a video in which you can submit your questions about my Red Velvet astrology readings for an upcoming Q&A. So now let's get into the video. First is her son in Aries. Since Aries is a cardinal sign and rules the first house, the house of beginnings, lots of Aries people tend to be pioneers and are extremely creative. Since Aries rules the first house, the house of your physical appearance and first impressions, they tend to care a lot about their bodies and how people first perceive them, regardless of the fact that they are usually bold and claim not to give a fuck about what other people think. Positive traits from Aries people are that they strong leaders that are extremely proactive and take charge, they tend to stick to their own opinions and don't care about what others have to say, and they are very positive people that don't like to dwell on their past losses, mistakes, and painful experiences. Next is your moon in Scorpio. Your moon sign represents your emotions, instincts, habits, true nature, and internal desires. Scorpio, being a water sign, is very comfortable when placed in the moon. Scorpio moons tend to be very intuitive people that know how to read people and discover who they are through their personas. Scorpio moons are extremely focused and competitive people to the point where they can become quite obsessive. Similar to Aries, Scorpios are very brave and daring and love to overcome challenges as well as having large ambitions. Scorpio people are very loyal to the people that they care about and have proven themselves to be good people to them. However, the problem with them is that they can be very possessive and dominating over other people, and be secretive of their true intentions, and resentful and hold grudges for a long time. For her internal desires, Lisa wants to obtain intimate deep connections with others, experience climactic moments in their lives, delve into taboos, and create long-term goals with other people. Next is her Mercury in Aries. Mercury is the planet of communication, learning, knowledge, and your mindset. Like I said before, her Mercury in Aries makes her quite confident in herself, proactive, creative and extremely optimistic. However, the problems this placement brings are that Aries Mercuries tend to be selfish and have a me-first mentality, they struggle with controlling their anger and can come across as aggressive and reactive, when the truth is that they're just passionate about what they talk about, and they struggle with being patient and have a tendency to make a quick decision instead of stopping and thinking before they do something. Next is her Venus in Aries. Venus is the planet of beauty, aesthetics, and romance. Lisa may want to be the more dominant person in the relationship and lead the relationship in a particular direction, and she will bring positive energy to the relationship. However, the problem with her is that she struggles to maintain the same passion she had with her partners at first, which will cause her to be inclined towards more short-term or polyamorous relationships or even cheating, and she will often neglect the needs of her partner with Aries being a very selfish sign. In terms of her aesthetic and fashion style, she prefers to wear sexy clothes that show a lot of skin, bold and eye-catching outfits, and a more tomboyish style with baggy clothes. Next is her retrograde Mars in Virgo. Mars is the planet of passion, drive, aggression, and assertion. Since Virgo rules the sixth house, the house of self-improvement, health, fitness, nutrition, and work life. She will be passionate about all of these things. Virgo people are usually very practical and organized, they tend to be a bit scattered because they are doing so many things at one time. This can cause them to go through exhaustion and burnout easily. Although people with Mars and Virgo can be very difficult and hypercritical at times, they usually aren't the type to start a fight or be aggressive. However, because Lisa's Mars is in retrograde, she may have a hard time asserting or standing up for herself, which is why even though she has a lot of Aries placements in her chart, and she isn't the most reactive person in the world. She also doesn't like competition and prefers to work at her own pace than to compare herself with others. Lastly, her intensity and passion can vary from day to day. Some days she will come on too strong, 
and other days she won't come on strong enough. Next is her Jupiter in Aquarius. Because Jupiter is the planet of luck and abundance, for Lisa, by taking on the positive traits associated with being in Aquarius, she will obtain a lot of luck in this lifetime. These traits include being tolerant, fair, innovative, cooperative, uniqueness, and valuing her and others' personal freedom and independence. Aspects of her life that also provide her with luck are maintaining and creating friendships, engaging with technology, thinking about the future, and maintaining her role as a member of the associations and organizations she is a part of. Next is her Saturn in Aries. Saturn is the planet of life lessons, trial and error, responsibilities, and hard work, so whatever sign Saturn is in represents the life lessons and struggles that you will experience in this lifetime. Having her Saturn in Aries, Lisa will struggle when it comes to properly assert herself, especially with her retrograded Mars, because she is afraid of failure and offending other people, so she needs to learn that being a little self-centered is perfectly normal and healthy for a human to be. She will struggle with self-confidence as well as learning to ask for help from others. Next is her Uranus in Aquarius. Uranus is the planet of reform, rebellion, innovation, and uniqueness. This means that she is most interested in making changes, innovating, and updating traditions related to technology, friendship, community, liberty, individuality, and kinship, and she is extremely open to new ideas and free thought. Next is her Neptune in Capricorn. Neptune is the planet of fantasy, dreams, and one's subconscious. With Capricorn being ruled by Saturn, the planet of structure, law, and rules, Rosa along with Irene believe that an ideal world must revolve around rules, morality, and responsibility. Rosa is also able to create realistic dreams that she is able to transform into reality. Next is her retrograde Pluto in Sagittarius. Pluto is the planet of intensity, obsessions, transformations, and power. This means that Lisa takes her personal ethical beliefs and philosophies extremely seriously. She tends to question beliefs that she may consider inefficient or self-limiting, her humanity is extremely strong, and she is moved by her optimistic image of the world. However, since her Pluto is in retrograde, she may be more inclined to fear being controlled, manipulated, or betrayed by others, she also may not show other people her desire for control or power, or she may not be in touch with this desire at all. Next is her Lilith in Virgo. Since Lilith represents your worst qualities, Lisa's worst qualities are that at times she can be hypercritical, judgmental, old school, and fussy. Next is her North Node in Virgo and South Node in Pisces. Her North Node in Virgo means that in this lifetime she will focus on her health, fitness, nutrition, improving herself to be the best person she can be, and her work life. Qualities she should embrace in this lifetime are problem solving, responsibility, structure, accountability, being detail oriented, and self improvement. Her South Node in Pisces means that in her past life she focused on her subconscious, spirituality, healing others, and solitude. Qualities she should reject in this lifetime are deception, emotional manipulation, playing the victim, being too optimistic, being easily seduced or charmed, abusive relationships, and getting lost in unrealistic fantasies. Okay, this is the end of the reading. Thanks for watching. If you wish to purchase an astrology or tarot card reading from me, Click the link in the description below. If you would like to hear me talk shit about gay pop drama or DM me a private question you have about one of my videos, here is my Instagram. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember to stay snatched.